Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here. You're going to have to excuse my voice. I have had a hell of a week. So smash the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1100 ladder. Ladies and gentlemen, I, in all my dog water sounding glory, present to you the brand new type of monster. We now have Illusions in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, specifically Illusionist. So this is, along with that, centered around Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts, Burfamet, and Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast. So yeah, let's let's get into it. This theme introduces the new Illusionist type, which has in the video games been localized as Illusionist or Dream. The term originally comes from the manga as the magic type used by Pegasus for Illusionist, Faceless Mage, and Relinquished. It's been generally used to cover mythical monsters, reality warpers, and even hypnosis and illusions. So let's go ahead and get on into it. This is Gazelle, the King of Mythical Claws, level 4 Earth Beast, effect monster, 1500 attack, 1200 defense. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. So if this card's normal specimen, you can add one level 5 Fiend or one Chimera Fusion from your deck to your hand. And if this card is sent to the graveyard as a material for a Fusion Summon, you can add one Illusionist Monster from your deck to your hand. So anything in this archetype, it can search. And of course, level 5 Fiend being the brand new Burfamet and the OG Burfamet. And the Chimera Fusion is um, basically like an El Shadal Fusion, uh, quick play, but it's pretty, pretty good. Um, next up here, we have Burfamet, the Great Wings, level 5 Fiend Effect Monster, 14 hour attack, 18 hour defense, which is the original Burfamet stats, same with the original Gazelle with 15 and 12. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn. If this card is normal, especially you can add one level 4 Beast Monster and or one Chimera Fusion from your deck to your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except fusions. That's fine. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a material for fusion summon, you can target one illusionist monster in your graveyard to special summon it. So anything in the archetype besides this and Gazelle, because Gazelle is a beast and Burfam is a fiend. Next up, we have Cornfield Coator, level 4 wind illusionist effect monster. Our first brand new monster in this new archetype, or new, I guess, type of monster. 500 tech, 17 heart defense. You can only use the first and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can discard this card, add one monster that mentions Chimera Fusion from your deck to your hand, except basically itself, Cornfield Coator. Monsters cannot be shown by battles involving this card. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card or cards you control, and you control Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, don't worry, that sounds really garbage, but some of the fusion monsters are treated as Chimera. You can banish this card from your field to grave, negate that effect, and if you do, destroy that card. Very interesting to have a negate, targeting negate, in the form of a monster. This is Mirror Swordsman. Also, it says here this card is an adaptation of an old video game exclusive card. I don't know what cards they're talking about, but apparently these were in some of the video games, which must not have been the World Championship games because I don't recall any of this. Although, fun fact, in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Stairway to the Destined Duel in, I believe, 2004, you could use Mystical Rough Panel, and it was called Mystical Rough Panel, and if I remember correctly, it had the same effect as the now IRL Mystical Ref panel. It was, of course, garbage. <laughs> this is Mirror Swordsman, level 3 light illusionist effect monster, 19 iron attack, 300 defense. Can only use the first and third effect of this card's name once per turn. So quick effect, you contribute this card, special one monster that mentions Chimera Fusion from your deck except Mirror Sword Knight, or I guess Mirror Swordsman. Um, so this is literally a fucking lone fire. This is really good. Monsters cannot be shown by battle involving this card. When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field and you control Chimera, you can banish this card from your field or grave and negate that effect. This card is absolutely disgusting, the fact that it's a lone fire and a monster negate as long as you have Chimera. Now, if your opponent Kaijus your Chimera, yeah, you're going to be kind of fucked, Sugar Boo Bear, but interesting in concept. So this is Chimera, the Illusion Magical Beast. Level 8, Dark Illusionist Fusion Monster. 3100 attack, 2800 defense, requires Chimera plus one or more illusionist monsters. This card's name becomes Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, and is treated as a Phantom Beast card while on the field or in the grave. That's important to note that these are treated as Phantom Beasts because years ago, they had the uh, Phantom Beast support stuff. Um, so anything that like has Phantom Beast in its name, you can also play in this deck, so keep that in mind. This card can make attacks on monsters during each battle phase, up to the number of fusion materials used for its summon. Monsters cannot be destroyed by battles involving this card. That seems really trash. If this card battled an opponent's monster at the end of the damage step, you can change that opponent's monster's attack to zero, also negates effects. Yeah, but I can just use it as a link material. And that is something that I really don't like about this deck, is that basically none of the monsters can pop stuff by battle, so it's like, why? So, 
I don't know. I guess only time will tell. Next up, this is Chimera the Phantom Beast King. So level 6 wind, beast, fusion, effect monster, 2100 attack, 1800 defense. That's, that is the original Chimera stats. Uh, materials is one beast monster plus a fiend monster. You can only use the second and third effects of this card's name once per turn. This card's name becomes the original Chimera while on the field or in the grave, but is still treated as a phantom beast card. Again, that's very important. If this card is fusion summoned, you can activate this effect. During the end phase of this turn, send one random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. That seems pretty damn good. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one beast, fiend, or illusionist monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. That seems really good. I mean self-replacing better than like the original chimera obviously um but being able to rip a card out of the opponent's hand at the end phase of that turn that that seems really good uh next up here is chimera fusion the quick play spell you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn during the main phase keep that in mind fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material including a beast or fiend monster during your main phase if this card's in your graveyard and you have chimera the flying mythical beast on your field or in your grave you can activate one of these effects add this card to your hand or banish this card and if you do special summon one gazelle the king of mythical beast and one burfamet from your deck in her grave so what do i think about this after i've already read this before i started recording and kind of thought on it a little bit I don't think that this stuff's going to actually be good, if I'm being honest. Unless there's more support coming down the pipeline, I don't like the fact that you essentially have to play Bricks in the form of Gazelle, the original Gazelle, and the original Burfamet, and possibly the original Chimera, because those cards just aren't good. Even back in the day, they weren't fucking good. So, I don't know. Like, even with a retrain of Gazelle, maybe you don't necessarily have to run the original Gazelle, but at, at this point in time, I don't really see how this can be good. Unless, like, maybe there's some sort of hybrid deck where you can, like, mix it in with tri-brigades or something like that. I don't know. I'm just spitballing ideas at this point. But let me know what you guys think about your initial thoughts on this stuff. Is there something I'm missing about this stuff? Is it actually better than what I'm giving it credit for? The Lone Fire and the Monster Negate monster feels really fucking good. Everything else kind of feels like meh. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.